Hello and welcome to the mini story for the conversation Las Vegas part one. Let's get started with the story. Mario lived in a small town named Smallsville. It was one o'clock a.m. and Mario was hungry. But no restaurants were open 24-7. New York is a city that doesn't sleep, Mario said so he decided to drive to New York. He arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. After a while, he found a restaurant. He ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. I like peanut butter on my hamburger, he said to the waitress. This totally threw the waitress off. She said, That's pretty crazy. I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger. You should try it. It kind of grows on you, said Mario. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. After he was finished eating, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. You don't need to pay for the hamburger. Your food is on the house, said the waitress. Mario was surprised. Wow, I never had a hamburger comp before, said Mario. Mario really liked New York. The next day, he decided to stay. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the story. Now I'm going to start the story again, and this time I will ask you some questions. As always, feel free to answer these questions out loud if you wish. Or, if you need some more time to think about it, then you can press pause and then press play again when you're ready. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Mario lived in a small town named Smallsville. Who lived in a small town? Did Mario's brother live in a small town? No. Mario's brother didn't live in a small town. Did Mario live in a small town? Yes. Yes, he did. Mario lived in a small town. Where did Mario live? Did he live in a big town? No, he didn't live in a big town. Did he live in a small town? Yes. Yes, he did. Mario lived in a small town. What was the name of the town? Was it New York? No, Mario didn't live in New York. Was Smallsville the name of the town? Yes, that's right. The town was named Smallsville. Was Smallsville a big town? No, Smallsville wasn't a big town. Was Smallsville a small town? Yes, Smallsville was a small town. Did Mario live in a small town named Smallsville? Yes, he did. Mario lived in a small town named Smallsville. It was 1 o'clock a.m. and Mario was hungry. Was Mario hungry? Yes, he was. Mario was hungry. What time was it? Was it 5 p.m.? No, it wasn't 5 p.m. Was it 1 a.m.? Yes, it was 1 o'clock a.m. Who was hungry? Was Mario's brother hungry? No, Mario's brother wasn't hungry. Was Mario hungry? Yes, Mario was hungry. Was it 1 o'clock a.m. and Mario was hungry? Yes, it was. It was 1 o'clock a.m. and Mario was hungry. But no restaurants were open 24-7.
Were there any restaurants open 24-7? No, there were no restaurants open 24-7. How many restaurants were open 24-7? Were there five? No, there weren't five restaurants open 24-7. Were there zero restaurants open 24-7? Yes, that is correct. There were no restaurants open 24-7. Were there any restaurants open 24-7? Nope. No restaurants were open 24-7. Were there any restaurants open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? No, there weren't. There were no restaurants open 24-7, which means that there were no restaurants open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. New York is a city that doesn't sleep, Mario said. Who said New York is a city that doesn't sleep? Did Mario's brother say it? No, Mario's brother didn't say it. Did Mario say New York is a city that doesn't sleep? Yes, that's correct. Mario said New York is a city that doesn't sleep. What is a city that doesn't sleep? Is Paris a city that doesn't sleep? No, no, it's not Paris. Is New York a city that doesn't sleep? Yes. New York is a city that doesn't sleep. Is New York a city where everything is open late at night? Yes, it is. New York is a city where everything is open late at night. New York is a city that doesn't sleep. They're the same things. If you say that something is a city that doesn't sleep, that means it is a city where... Pretty much everything is open late at night. So we decided to drive to New York. Did he decide to drive to New York? Yes, he did. He decided to drive to New York. Who decided to drive to New York? Did Mario's mother decide to drive to New York? No, Mario's mother didn't decide to drive to New York. Did Mario decide to drive to New York? Yes, yes he did. He decided to drive to New York. What did he decide to do? Did he decide to fly to New York? No, he didn't decide to fly to New York. Did he decide to drive to New York? Yes, he decided to drive to New York. Where did he decide to drive? Did he decide to drive to Paris? No, he didn't decide to drive to Paris. Did he decide to drive to New York? Yes, he did. He decided to drive to New York. He arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. Did he arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? Yes, he did. He arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. When did he arrive in New York? Did he arrive in New York at 3 o'clock p.m.? No, he didn't arrive in New York at 3 o'clock p.m. Did he arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? Yes, he did. He arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. Who arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? Did Mario's dog arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? No, not Mario's dog. Did Mario arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? 
Yes. Yes, he did. Mario arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. Where did Mario arrive at 3 o'clock a.m.? Did he arrive in Paris? No, he didn't arrive in Paris. Did he arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? Yes, he did. He arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. Did Mario arrive in New York at 3 o'clock a.m.? Yes, he did. Mario arrived in New York at 3 o'clock a.m. After a while, he found a restaurant. Did he find a restaurant after a while? Yes. Yes, he did. After a while, he found a restaurant. When did he find a restaurant? Did he find a restaurant after a while? Yes, yes he did. After a while, he found a restaurant. Did he find a restaurant after some time had passed? Why, yes he did. He found a restaurant after a while, which is the same as he found a restaurant after some time had passed. Who found a restaurant? Did Mario's dad find a restaurant? No, not Mario's dad. Did Mario find a restaurant? Yes, that's correct. Mario found a restaurant. He found a restaurant. What did Mario do after a while? Did he find a car? No, he didn't find a car. Did he find a restaurant? Yes, he found a restaurant. Did Mario find a restaurant after a while? Yes, he did. Did Mario find a restaurant after some time had passed? Yes, that's correct. Mario found a restaurant after some time had passed, which is the same thing as saying Mario had found a restaurant after a while. He ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. Did he order a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, yes he did. He ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. What did he order? Did he order a pizza? No, he didn't order a pizza. Did he order a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, that's what he ordered. He ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. Who ordered a hamburger with peanut butter? Did Marcus order a hamburger with peanut butter? No, it wasn't Marcus who ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. Did Mario order a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, Mario ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. Did he order a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, he did. He ordered a hamburger with peanut butter. I like peanut butter on my hamburger, he said to the waitress. Did he say to the waitress, I like peanut butter on my hamburger? Yes. Yes, he did. He said to the waitress, I like peanut butter on my hamburger. Who said, I like peanut butter on my hamburger? Did the waitress say it? No, the waitress didn't say it. Did Mario say, I like peanut butter on my hamburger? Yes, Mario said, I like peanut butter on my hamburger. Who likes peanut butter on his hamburger? Does Mario's uncle like peanut butter on his hamburger? No, not Mario's uncle. Does Mario like peanut butter on his hamburger? 
Yes, Mario likes peanut butter on his hamburger. He said, I like peanut butter on my hamburger. What does Mario like on his hamburger? Does he like tomato on his hamburger? No, he doesn't like tomato on his hamburger. Does he like peanut butter on his hamburger? Yes, he does. He likes peanut butter on his hamburger. Did Mario tell the waitress that he likes peanut butter on his hamburger? Yes, he did. He said, I like peanut butter on my hamburger. He said that to the waitress. This totally threw the waitress off. Did this totally throw the waitress off? Yes, it did. It totally threw the waitress off. Did this totally throw Mario off? No, it didn't totally throw Mario off. Did this confuse the waitress? Yes. Yes, it did. If something threw the waitress off, that means it confused the waitress. Was the waitress confused? Yes, she was. The waitress was totally thrown off, which is to say the waitress was confused. Did this totally throw the waitress off? Yes, it did. This totally threw the waitress off. She said, That's pretty crazy. I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger. Did she say, That's pretty crazy? Yes, she did. She said, That's pretty crazy. Who said, That's pretty crazy? I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger. Did Mario say it? No, Mario didn't say it. Did the waitress say it? Yes. Yes, that's correct. The waitress said it. Did the waitress say, that's pretty crazy? Yes, she did. Did the waitress say it was difficult to believe? Yes. Yes, she did. She said, that's pretty crazy, which means that is pretty difficult to believe. Did the waitress say, I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger? Yes, she did. The waitress said, I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger. Did Mario say, I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger? No, Mario didn't say that. The waitress said it. Does the waitress know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger? No, she doesn't. She said, I do not know anyone who likes peanut butter on their hamburger. You should try it. It kind of grows on you, said Mario. Did Mario say... You should try it. It kind of grows on you. Yes. Yes, he did. Mario said, you should try it. It kind of grows on you. Who should try it? Should Mario try it? No. Mario shouldn't try it. Should the waitress try it? Yes. The waitress should try it. Who said, it kind of grows on you? Did Mario say it? Yes, he did. Mario said, it kind of grows on you. Did Mario say that you begin to like it? Well, yes, he did. When Mario said, it kind of grows on you, it was the same thing as saying, you will begin to like it if you try it. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. Did the waitress give him a hamburger with peanut butter? 
Yes, that's correct. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. What did the waitress give him? Did she give him a turkey sandwich? No, she didn't give him a turkey sandwich. Did she give him a hamburger with tomato? No, she didn't give him a hamburger with tomato. Did she give him a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, yes she did. She gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. Who gave him a hamburger with peanut butter? Did the waitress give it to him? Yes, that's correct. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. Did Mario's mother give him a hamburger with peanut butter? No, his mother didn't give him a hamburger with peanut butter. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. Who did the waitress give the hamburger with peanut butter to? Did she give it to the policeman? No, she didn't give it to the policeman. Did she give it to Mario? Yes, that's correct. She gave it to Mario. Did the waitress give Mario a hamburger with peanut butter? Yes, she did. The waitress gave him a hamburger with peanut butter. After he was finished eating, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. Did he want to pay for the hamburger after he was finished eating? Yes. Yes, he did. After he was finished eating, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. When did he want to pay for the hamburger? Did he want to pay for it after he washed his hands? No, that's not when he wanted to pay for it. Did he want to pay for it before he finished eating? No, he didn't want to pay for it before he finished eating. Did he want to pay for it after he finished eating? Yes, that's correct. After he finished eating, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. So who wanted to pay for the hamburger? Did Mario's uncle want to pay for the hamburger? No, it wasn't Mario's uncle who wanted to pay for the hamburger. Did Mario want to pay for the hamburger? Yes, Mario wanted to pay for the hamburger. He wanted to pay for the hamburger. What did he want to pay for? Did he want to pay for the soda? No, he didn't want to pay for the soda. Did he want to pay for the hamburger? Yes, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. Did he want to pay for the hamburger after he finished eating? Yes, he did. After he was finished eating, he wanted to pay for the hamburger. You don't need to pay for the hamburger. Your food is on the house, said the waitress. Did the waitress say, you don't need to pay for the hamburger, your food is on the house? Yes, yes she did. The waitress said, you don't need to pay for the hamburger, your food is on the house. Who said you don't need to pay for the hamburger? Did Mario say it? No. Mario didn't say it. Did the waitress say it? Yes, yes she did. The waitress said it. Who did not need to pay for the hamburger? Mario? Yes, that's correct. The waitress told Mario he did not need to pay for the hamburger. Whose food is on the house? Was the waitress's food on the house? No, the waitress's food wasn't on the house. Was Mario's food on the house? Yes, Mario's food was on the house. 
What was on the house? Was Mario's drink on the house? No, Mario's drink wasn't on the house. Was Mario's food on the house? Yes, Mario's food was on the house. Was Mario's food free? Yes, Mario's food was free. When you say his food was on the house, that's the same thing as saying Mario's food was free. Did Mario have to pay for his food? No, Mario did not have to pay for his food. Mario's food was on the house, which means he did not have to pay for his food. Mario was surprised. Wow, I never had a hamburger comp before, said Mario. Was Mario surprised? Yes, Mario was surprised. Did Mario say, Wow, I never had a hamburger comp before? Yes, Mario said, Wow, I never had a hamburger comp before. Who was surprised? Was the waitress surprised? No, the waitress wasn't surprised. Was Mario surprised? Yes, Mario was surprised. Had Mario ever had a hamburger comp? No, Mario said, I never had a hamburger comp before. So that means Mario had never had a hamburger comp. Had Mario ever had a hamburger for free? No, he never had a hamburger for free. Because he said he had never had a hamburger comp before. And to have something comp means to get it for free. When had Mario had a hamburger comp before? Had he had a hamburger comp last month? No. No, he didn't have a hamburger comp last month. He never had a hamburger comp before. Why was Mario surprised? Was he surprised because he had his hamburger comped? Yes, yes, that's true. Mario was surprised and he said, Wow, I never had a hamburger comp before. So that probably means that he was surprised because he had never had a hamburger comped before. Mario really liked New York. Did Mario really like New York? Yes, yes he did. Mario really liked New York. Who really liked New York? Did the waitress really like New York? No, the waitress didn't really like New York. Did Mario really like New York? Yes, that's correct. Mario really liked New York. What did Mario really like? Did he really like Paris? No, he didn't really like Paris. Did he really like New York? Yes, Mario really liked New York. Did Mario really like New York? Yes, he did. Mario really liked New York. The next day, he decided to stay. The next day, did he decide to stay? Yes, yes he did. The next day, he decided to stay. What did he decide to do the next day? Did he decide to stay? Yes he did. He decided to stay. Did he decide to leave? No, he didn't decide to leave. Did he decide to stay? Yes, he decided to stay. Who decided to stay? Did Mario's uncle decide to stay? No, not Mario's uncle. Did Mario decide to stay? 
Yes, Mario decided to stay. When did he decide to stay? Did he decide to stay that night? No, he didn't decide that night. Did he decide the next day? Yes, he decided the next day. The next day, did he decide to stay? Yes, yes, that's correct. The next day, he decided to stay. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our story, which means that we have now come to the end of our mini lesson for the conversation Las Vegas, part one. Please, on your own, tell this story. Um, do your best to tell the entire story and use the idioms that we discussed. We discussed 24-7, a city that doesn't sleep, after a while, threw the waitress off, pretty crazy, it kind of grows on you, on the house, and comped. So be sure to use these idioms when you tell the story. Okay, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Kristen Dodds. And this is Joe Weiss. And we just wanted to let you know that this material has been copyrighted in the year 2008 by Learn Real English, LLC. www.learnrealenglish.com